Start a Win32 Debugger, the topic we discuss here is also relevant to 64-bit debugger. We mainly use WinDBG for analyzing a dump file, or attaching for live debugging. To debug any Windows application, WinDBG needs to know Windows public symbols. So it is important to configure the symbol file path. For the first time user, the dialog will be empty. In fact, this should contain a valid path, pointing towards the Windows public symbol files, which is essential for debugging. The user should now configure a symbol file path. The format of a symbol path is a combination of local and server path. The server path is nothing but the link of Microsoft Symbol Server. MS Symbol Server contains all the Windows public symbol information, which is necessary for debugging an application. So we need to copy this web link, that is the link of the Microsoft Symbol Server, and paste it, at the place of server path. Here we have completed the first part of symbol path construction. The next one is to set the local path. Setting a local folder to store symbols is important. If we do not have one, then every time the symbols will be downloaded from MS Symbol Server during debugging session. Also, debugging would only be possible when system is online to internet. But, if there is a local symbol repository in the beginning of the symbol path, the debugger will first look at the local folder for the required symbols. And, if a particular symbol does not exist locally, it will be downloaded from public server. So, let's create a local server path. We can choose any name you prefer, like my symbol path or local symbols. Here we are choosing local symbols. We can create a directory with that name. Oh, we already have a folder with that name. For the demo purpose, we delete and create one. The new directory local symbols created. It does not have any symbol files. Copy the folder path. and paste it in the place of local path. This is it. Now we have configured our symbol path for the debugger. Copy the path and paste it in the symbol path dialog. Apply OK. The next most important action is to save the workspace, so the newly configured symbol path will be persisted. Let's test that. Now, close the debugger and reopen. Open the symbol file path, and verify the newly created symbol path is existing in the dialog. Thanks for watching.